important question for SSLC examination and TET exams means teacher's eligibility test. So the first question is which of the following is not irrational? So we should know about the irrational and rational number. Sometimes it may come as terminating and non-terminating non-terminating number also. So this is given what 3 plus root 7 into 3 minus root 7 and number 2 is option that is 3 plus root 7 and number c is 3 minus root 7 so in this case see if you compare this one with a square minus b square formula then it will come what a plus b into a minus b so from this options so first option is given this one 3 plus root 7 into 3 minus root 7 so definitely we can compare this one with a square minus b square so after comparing this one we can write this one a plus b into a minus b so this will be first term as a this will be second term b suppose then a square minus b square that means a plus b into a minus b so here will come a plus b that means 3 plus root 7 and here will come 3 minus root 7 so after getting this one we will get 2 so that this is what this is not an irrational number yes so asking the question is which is not irrational so now it is not irrational one next for some integers n the odd integer is represented in the form of n n plus 1 twice n plus 1 so it may come more than that option also 4 4 options now I met only 3 options sometimes 2 option here so here this will be actually answer will be what this one twice n plus 1 from will be what this from okay odd integer yes so now how can we establish this one this is this answer is correct so i have given explanation here since twice n represented or represent represented even number suppose so therefore twice n plus one will be what always represent the wood so this number will be lit n equal to suppose two then twice n that means two into two this equal to four this is what even number yes even number so it is incorrect one so since given the odd integer is represented in the form of so now this is incorrect statement so twice n is not correct and n plus and n also not correct yes and here also not correct and this will be correct yes you see if you let twice n plus one suppose n equal to two then two into two plus one this equal to what five so this is the correct option from there next the decimal expansion of 120 by t square into 5 to the power 7 is terminating non-terminating definitely if like this option is there that will be non-terminating one non-terminating means it will goes same number again and again so then i made this one here i have solved this one for your betterment you just check it now from the geometrical part no not geometrical that is statistic part this one the abscissa of the point of intersection of the less than type n of the more than type mine it cumulative frequency of a group data gives each so that is definitely median not mean not mod so I put the reason here since the intersection point is less than type of give yes and more than type of give gives the median on the abscissa if this one are the midpoint of the class intervals of group data it is from also statistic point fi are the corresponding frequencies n x dress is the mean then find summation of this one is equal to what so that is equal to zero because uh, one formula is there this formula you use there so after subtracting from there 
we will get from there 0. So now multiplication of two irrational number is what? Always that is irrational number. It is not rational, not both. Okay. Now coming the area of a triangle with vertices. Suppose A, 3, 0, B, 7, 0, means 7, 0, and C, 8, 4 is what? So this I have done like this. So area of a triangle, we know this one. Area, this equal to this one. Then think like that. That is x1, that is y1, that is x2, that is y2, and that is x3, that is y3. Then after comparing this one with that, write the formula this one. Now put the value from there. So here x1 equal to what? 3. So write down there 3. So y2 equal to what? This one. Yes, 0. You write down there 0. So like that you put the value there and you will get answer here 8. That is what? 2 1 sir and 2 8 sir. What? Then you will get the correct option from here 8. Check this one once more. Next part. The distance between the points A 0 6 and B 0 minus 2 is here given for it will come four option so I wrote only three option so how it will come it we will see so like previous one this one think that is x1 that is y1 and that is what x2 that is y2 okay like this x1 y1 okay x2 y2 okay so compare this one now put the value there this is the distance formula actually using distance formula we can write this one so after this one we will putting the 0 0 means meaningless that is and that will be minus it then minus minus will come plus okay squaring means this one we'll take one that means minus it into minus it okay so now this will come plus and here will come only one that will be it then again the positive root of this one root over 5 x square plus 6 equal to 9 is option is given this one the correct option is 5 so I solve this one this is given what like this say root over 5 x square plus 6 root is up to here this equal to 9 so now this implies what you can do 5 x square plus 6 this equal to what 9 square that means you can write 81 okay removing this one this will become square so now this will be what then this implies thai x square uh, equal to direct you can write or you can subtract from here also 81 minus 6 so this equal to what this one and this implies we require the value of this one so x square equal to we will get what 75 by 3 this equal to 25 so we require the value x this equal to root over 25 and plus and minus 5 so we need the positive value so this root will become both plus 5 and minus 5 so negative value is not required only positive is required so your answer will be what then plus 5 if minus 5 will come there then it is that will be the wrong wrong option so you must write this one plus one since given here positive root a negative root means minus will come okay now next question so here a line intersect the y-axis and x-axis at the point p and q respectively if 2,5 is the midpoint of pq then the coordinates of p and q are so definitely you see i have solved this one yes i put the reason there the line which we has given here see it is given here the lines intersect the y-axis and x-axis mine it it is clearly given here mentioning here so you have to notice about the question what is asking next let the coordinates be 0 be suppose and another one is a0 okay then given midpoint is what 
here in the question it is mentioning here if the if 2 comma minus 4, 5 is the midpoint okay of pq then you write this one given 2 comma minus 5 is the midpoint so now this will be what then 2 equal to what a plus 0 by 2 then just do cross multiplication from there so here 1 is there do this one okay so this equal to what? 2 equal to a plus 0 okay this one is 0 you write there 0 <coughs> by 2 do cross multiplication here here since 1 is there so this implies what a plus 0 this equal to 4 this implies a equal to 4 it is not harder one by looking it is difficult one but it is not harder one so similarly minus 5 equal to what see b equal to what minus 5 so you write here minus 5 b plus 0 by 2 so that will be minus 10 so now coordinates should be what 0 minus 10 and 4 0 so correct option will be what then this one this will be your correct option next the points which divides the line segment joining the points 7 minus 6 and 3 comma 4 in ratio 1 is to 2 internally lies in the first quadrant second quadrant third quadrant fourth quadrant it may come like that i made only two here so see where it will be so let the point x and y so we have taken this point as x and y since it is not given properly so using section formula what we can get for section formula you can check my uh, previous videos i explain uh, about this one uh, then x equal to what then think like that x1 y1 x2 y2 x1 y1 x2 y2 like that you think then you you will get this one okay so see one we have got 17 by 3 x value then another is what minus 8 by 3 okay so we require this one in which quadrant it is so in case of this one it will be what then plus plus minus plus minus minus and what plus minus so that will be fourth quadrant yes it will lie on fourth quadrant so your correct option will be fourth quadrant one question that is if p square into x square minus q square equal to zero then the value of x is plus minus q by p and plus minus p by q or q p it may come like this so i wrote here fine x now this one how can we get this one is a solution here given what p square x square minus q square is equal to zero so now this implies p square x square equal to q square this is very easy so this implies you see we require the value of x square that means we need the value of x so we keep this one here x square equal to q square by this will go down p square okay this implies x equal to what root of her q square by p square so this equal to what plus and minus q by p okay so squaring this one means square means take suppose 2 square this equal to 2 into 2 okay so root of her suppose 4 then you take root of her 2 into 2 then take 1 from there okay to half of this one okay so similarly you use this type of ticks for finding this type of roots from there so value of x this equal to what plus minus q by p this is your correct answer now one more question come like this again see uh, if one of the zeros zeros of the quadratic quadratic polynomial suppose polynomial uh, that is given suppose k minus 1 into x square plus kx plus 1 
is minus three. Okay, is minus three. Then, then uh, value of k is it will come like this. Then value of k is it will give option suppose a four by three, b minus four by three. Yes, it will come like that. So which one correct? We have to uh, test it now. So solution for reference, I solve this one. So let this one, this polynomial is p x equal to this equal to what? K minus one into x square plus k x plus one. So here given what p equal to minus t. That means x in place of this one, you write three x equal to minus t so you must write this one there so you write there p this implies minus 3 this indicating what where you will get x in place of x you write minus 3 that is the important uh, these questions are available in class 8 class 7 class 9 and class 10 also so this equal to what p minus 3 so in place of x you write minus 3 there then k minus 1 will be there this will be constant then here it was x square so you write there minus 3 whole square plus k into what x means what minus 3 you just put the value there plus 1 okay next this equal to what so we require this one is 0 yes this should be 0 hence mentioning here 0 sir that means zeros of the quadratic polynomials yes so you must find out this one zero so this will come what then directly we can do three three sir nine okay minus minus plus then this will give what nine into this one nine into this one so this will come nine k minus nine this will come nine yes okay three minus three into minus three this equal to plus nine so this plus 9 you multiply here both okay next plus not plus directly you will do plus into minus minus then thais k minus thais k and this is plus this is the most important line for you all so this implies what 0 this equal to bring this one here okay 9k minus thais k will come there then minus 9 plus 1 will be there okay next this implies 0 for your betterment i wrote this one here otherwise no need to write here so this subtract from here this will give 6k then minus 9 plus 1 minus 9 plus 1 so it will give what minus 8 9 rupees you are the borrower 1 rupees deposited so you paid 1 rupees to that and after then you have to give again 8 rupees so it will go from your hand on the other hand you can say in front of bigger number what sign is there that will be here minus 8 okay so we need the value of what k so here given value of k so this implies k equal to then this will be what then what 4 4 this one that means 8 by 6 okay 2 3 sir what 2 4 sir what so this will come 4 by 3 so your answer will be what 4 by 3 so correct option will be then what this one 4 by 3 why it is this one see this will be come here this line i want to explain again uh, this implies 6k minus 6k will become after bringing this one this equal to minus 8 so both side minus minus cancel then this will be 6k equal to what 8 so this implies k equal to 8 by 6 so after cancelling this one we will get this one so hope you are understanding properly